Hello everyone. Today I thought I would do a video on consignment shopping. I live in London so most of the shops that I go to are, are based here which will only be of use really to people who either live in London or um, plan to visit but just in case I will say where I got each thing that I'm going to show you from and um, also I'm just going to do some general tips as to how I go shopping for secondhand stuff in consignment shops. Personally I've had a lot of good luck at the Notting Hill clothing exchange. We found this coach handbag which I'm guessing is probably from the 80s or 90s. Anyway it's back when they still use the really lovely leather and I always look out for vintage coach because the quality is just so good and despite this being second hand it's pretty much flawless. It's kind of a bucket bag with um, sort of oval shape, big front slip pocket and big interior pocket. It's got it stuffed. And then there's also a small zip pocket at the back. The hardware is gold, which I wouldn't usually go for, but this is a nice sort of dull, brassy colour, not in your face bling. And they've got the hang tag, which says coach on it. And you've got the coach creed written somewhere in the back there. So I know it's, it's real. Also the quality would tell me that it is. The zip is really strong and sturdy. And I think this was 40 pounds a lot less than it would cost to buy a new coach bag and personally I don't think the quality of the new bags by coach is anything like what it used to be so I was very pleased to find this bag. Also in that shop I've had luck with uh, boots by Hudson and Fry and a leather jacket by All Saints and they have most of the major designers like Prada and Chloe and Armani and things so the next piece I'm going to show you is from a consignment shop which does mostly older vintage pieces from probably the 70s and 80s, bit of 90s, and it is called Pelicans and Parrots and it's in Dalston. The other day I was in there and I found this amazing vintage Balmain leather midi skirt and the quality of this leather, this is how I found it, is I was just running my hand through the rail of leather skirts and this one stuck out immediately for just the thickness and softness of the leather. Tried it on, it fit me perfectly. And yeah, it's by Balma and it's got pockets, which I always like. It's in perfect condition. I'm guessing it's probably from the 80s, don't know. But it cost me £50 compared to what you'd pay to buy a new Balma leather midi skirt. Uh, I think that's a really good deal. In um, North London, there is a shop on Upper Street, which is called Seconda Mano. I think means secondhand in Italian, probably. A few weeks ago, I found this shirt by a brand called Woodwood, who I've sort of vaguely heard of. I don't really know much about them, but I do know that their shirts are really expensive. And this one, however, was £20. It's in perfect condition and I love the monochrome and I also love the lipstick prints. For some reason, and it's weird because I don't ever wear lipstick, but I really like lipstick as a print. I also count vintage shops as consignment shops because certainly around where I live in East London, in fact through all of London, um, they don't make really any distinction between something that's from the 1950s and something that was bought last week but is a nice brand. So you can quite often find more modern clothes in shops that purport to be vintage shops. So one of those is a shop called Rain, which is on uh, Berwick Street in central London. And that's where I found this uh, denim sort of pencil skirt, sort of midi length. And I was particularly drawn to these little stars on the pockets. It's by a brand called Igar. Igar Diffusion. No idea who they are or were, but uh, this fit me really well. It's nice quality denim and it's a bit of fun for the summer. Then from East London, anywhere around uh, Brick Lane or Cheshire Street, there are just, it's almost wall to wall vintage and secondhand shop. From Porcelain and Red, I did find this dress, which it's sort of got a 50s 60s sort of style to it but I suspect it's more modern than that. Anyway it's just a really nice classic little black dress, fits me really beautifully, it's got the nice fabric covered buttons all down the back and uh, yeah it's quite nice and versatile, you can dress it up or dress it down and I paid £50 for that which is more than I would usually 
pay for a dress that <laughs> the label is human woman which amuses me but I don't think it's anything very great and the fabric I've no idea what it is because the description's written in Chinese on the label and yeah I, I didn't buy this for the name I bought it for the cut and the fact that it fits me so well and it's a classic. If you're a Londoner and you're in the market for something special a really lovely designer piece that is vintage I would suggest a place called Relic which is in Trellick Tower in Westbourne Grove and um, that has beautiful stuff it's where a lot of stylists and top models like Kate Moss get their vintage Westwood and McQueen and, and, and whatever from and it's always worth going and having a look even if you're just window shopping because the prices aren't cheap. So just some general tips for consignment shopping. I would say have a shopping list in mind don't just go in and be seduced by the fact that oh wow I can get Marc Jacobs for like a quarter of the normal price. If you weren't actually looking for a Marc Jacobs bag then um, probably stayed clear. Um, I tend not to make special journeys to visit them. If I happen to be in a neighbourhood where I know there is a consignment shop that I like, I will just drop in and see what they've got and I'll have a kind of running shopping list in my head for things that I might want to buy for the upcoming season. I'll get chatting to the, the people who run the shop. It's always worth getting friendly with them because, well, one, you might want to sell stuff to them in the future and they do sometimes give you a discount at the till if you're lucky and plus if you pay in cash you may also get a little discount because they quite often prefer that. Shopping in consignment stores is also a great way to get to know which designers fit you well and and you like. In the other way that consignment shopping is good for developing your knowledge is in terms of different fabrics. As I say with the Balmain skirt I could tell just by running my hands over this rack of leather skirts that that one was the best quality. It's the same with uh, if you feel silk or cashmere you get to know what those feel like and even if the labels come off or even if you just want to make the process of shopping a bit quicker you get to a point where you can just feel something and know if it's good quality. I think that's quite important because you can actually end up if you're buying particularly like a, a high-end designer bag or, or a pair of shoes you might end up paying or, or a winter coat you might end up paying quite a lot of money and to do that you're going to want to know that the thing you're buying is really good quality. In general with most things um, you can tell the quality by the stitching if it's all neat and regular and they've bothered to hem everything and particularly if there's a lining that's you if it's a skirt or something or a jacket that's a sign that it's a, a decent quality piece of clothing. Um, you can tell by looking at the buttons, uh, if they're sewn on well and if it's a, a nice looking button, that's a sign of quality. Um, look at the label in the back of a uh, piece of clothing. See, if you can turn the label over and look at the back and there are loads of threads, you can tell it's a woven label rather than a printed label, that means that the piece is quite high end. If you're looking at bags, it's things like the hardware. Does it look nice and chunky and solid? Is it secure? Leather, um, I usually just sniff the thing if you want to tell if a bag is actually real leather. It might look a bit weird, but I, as far as I know, that's the most reliable way to tell. If it smells of leather, you're good to go. And otherwise, it's going to smell of plastic and you're going to put it back. One thing I would be wary of buying is vintage shoes. What tends to happen is the glue that's holding the sole on to the bottom of the shoe um, after a number of years it can just dry up and the sole can come off and it's really hard to restick. I think anything from sort of the 80s or 90s onwards you're probably going to be okay as long as it seems secure when you buy it but anything earlier than that I would be a bit wary. Never buy anything too small if it's too big you might be able to get it altered but factor in the cost of that to the cost of the garment and also just have fun I guess. The reason to shop consignment partly is to find things that you maybe wouldn't normally find in your regular shops and from that you may be able to change your style a bit or you may discover that you really love a particular designer or a particular type of garment and then you can add some more of those into your closet. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like or leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.